very often with brain tumors, if there's uncertainty as to the diagnosis of what type of tumor, they may need surgery either for resection or biopsy. But for certain types of tumors that have a classic appearance on an MRI scan of the brain and, can, and are benign, uh, sometimes radiosurgery, which is a focused radiation technique that is very few treatments. It can be as many as just, it can be one treatment or up to three to five treatments, but rarely a full four to six weeks of radiation treatment. And so radiosurgery is an abbreviated high dose radiation that can actually cure some small benign tumors. It can also be used as an adjuvant or adjunct to surgery where there's residual tumor and treating the residual with focused radiation, high dose radiation can control it. Um, but sometimes surgery is needed early on because it's a larger tumor and radiosurgery is generally for a smaller size or residual. Um, so radiosurgery is a nice adjunct that's helped us control um, uh, both benign tumors but also brain metastases from cancer elsewhere if they're small can be effectively controlled with radiosurgery. And we're using radiosurgery more and more over exposing the whole brain to radiation to have less effects on cognitive and memory function. So it's proven very uh, useful for maintaining quality of life in people with multiple brain metastases. Jefferson Health uh, keeps us on the cutting edge. It supports uh, latest technology both for surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Uh, so uh, for instance, uh, at Abington Jefferson Health, uh, we just uh, built the new Aspen Cancer Pavilion and have installed the latest in stereotactic radiosurgery equipment. One of the latest stereotactic radiosurgery machines uh, to bring cutting edge technology to our patients uh, that need radiosurgery. In addition, they support uh, technologies uh, uh, to enhance the safety of, of surgery for brain tumors, including Im special imaging techniques called uh, diffusion tensor or white matter fiber tract imaging, which is being integrated into surgery uh, for safety, uh, fluorescence uh, filters on surgical microscopes to distinguish normal brain from tumors, and a lot of these techniques are being supported at Jefferson Health. Some of the advances uh, are a few things I mentioned already earlier in terms of the technology that they have been supporting. I mean, Jefferson Health supports a number of different types of radiosurgery machines, including some of the latest ones that we've, we've had installed, um, but also technology in terms of uh, surgical, uh, uh, in terms of surgery for brain tumors, in terms of uh, uh, safety with integrating imaging modalities, with integrating fluorescence, with integrating um, new technologies such as uh, laser ablation. So there's a, a number of things that are being integrated both for, for the surgery, for radiation, and then also uh, clinical trials and trying to develop new drugs and immunotherapies to better uh, treat the more malignant tum brain tumors. Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Lasky. My mission at Jefferson is to improve lives. Mm -hmm.